Get ready for GitHub Universe and GitHub Game Off 2023. Plus, we've got news on the Raspberry Pi 5, open source LLMs, Dolly 3, and a pick of the week that'll have you looking at turnip prices again. All that and more on this episode of The Download. Welcome back to another episode of The Download. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Developer Advocate at GitHub. And this is the show where we cover the latest developer news and open source projects. Please like and subscribe. And uh, this week, my shirt, OK, well, it's actually two shirts. So my sweatshirt, or crew neck, is a Supreme and Nike collab from, I want to say, like three or four years ago. I don't even know what time is, honestly, anymore. Um, anyway, the crew neck is Supreme. Underneath, I actually have like a NPM shirt. I don't know if you can see. Yeah because I like to rep NPM at all times. All right, let's go ahead and get into the news. So it is now October, can you believe it? And that means that we are just a month away from GitHub Universe, which is going to be taking place at the Yerba Buena Center of the Arts in San Francisco, California on November 8th and 9th. And don't worry, we will be online too. And I'm gonna be there hosting alongside my favorite guys, Damian Brady and Anwan Simmons. And this show, you guys, we have so much cool stuff to show off. You're not gonna wanna miss this. No matter what type of developer you are, you're gonna wanna join us. And if you happen to see us in person uh, and you see me, please say hello because I love to meet people who watch our silly little show. I really do. You can go to githubuniverse.com for more details. And I've got that linked in the show notes and description down below too. Moving on to a few other quick GitHub announcements. Good news for GitHub Sponsors fans or sponsees. I, I think that's how it's, I don't know. GitHub Sponsors is expanding. That's the news. That's the news. We've partnered with Patreon and we're coming to new regions. So GitHub Sponsors is a way for users or organizations to directly contribute to the people who maintain or you know code their favorite open source projects or dependencies. And at GitHub, we feel very strongly that open source should be sustainable for everyone involved. And this is part of how we think Think that we can help with that. All right, so let's talk about the Patreon partnership first. So I'm reading this directly from the blog. With the new Patreon integration, sponsors can link their GitHub and Patreon accounts to process sponsorships on Patreon and receive sponsorship recognition on their GitHub profile. Yay! And individual and organization accounts are able to link their GitHub and Patreon accounts to expand their reach of potential sponsorship opportunities. So I love this. And um, I've got uh, very cool news on that. I've got links down below for how that's gonna work and help box and all that stuff to get started. Even better, as I said, GitHub Sponsors has expanded. It is now in 35 more regions around the world. And that means that GitHub Sponsors is now available in 103 different places around the world, which is great. And look, sponsorship is not the only way to make open source sustainable. We know this, there's a lot more to do, but we also know that from talking to our community and maintainers, this really does help. And so I'm really, really psyched to see the program expand. Um, as I said, we've got links um, to more information down below in the show notes and the description. And I also just want to give a real quick shout out to be on the lookout for GitHub's 11th annual Game Off, which kicks off November 1st, 2023. Game Off is our annual game jam that challenges individuals and teams to build a game during the month of November. And uh, you can uh, join now before things kick off, as I said, on November 1st. And on November 1st, the theme is gonna be announced and then you'll have the whole month to get your entries submitted. I've got links to a ton of docs on both itch.io and GitHub, courtesy of our cheap game master, Lee Riley, in the show notes and the description. So, you know, game on. Okay, moving on to some extremely exciting news for all tinkerers and tinkerer adjacent types. So basically everyone, or any, anybody who values powerful computing in like a tiny form factor. The Raspberry Pi 5 has been announced and it's gonna be available at the end of the month. Yay! Now, if you haven't been following the Raspberry Pi 4 shortage, you might not know that the Raspberry Pi 4, which was first released in 2019, has been incredibly difficult to obtain because of supply chain, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, hopefully we can put those days behind us, you know, at least after the initial order frenzy clears out, and the Raspberry Pi is supposed to be in much greater supply. Um, and I've got links to the Raspberry Pi uh, Foundation's blog that outlines all the new features in the new Pi 5, but here's a bulleted spec list. So there's a 64-bit quad-core ARM Cortex A76 processor running at 2.4 gigahertz. This is supposed to be two to three times better than the Raspberry Pi 4, Great. There's actually an 800 megahertz graphics processor now. Um, a PCI Express 2.0 interface is still um, outputs an HDMI 4K HDR. The 4 gig configuration is, is going to be $60 and the 8 gig at $80. And the fine folks at Raspberry Pi have also designed their own active cooling solution for the first time. So for people like me who really push their pies to the limits, that's going to be a great option. 
I can't wait to get my hands on one. I've got some links down below to the announcement, some great blogs from folks in the Raspberry Pi community, and some videos where you can learn more. All of us at GitHub are huge, huge Raspberry Pi fans, and I can't wait to see what cool stuff like we as a team build, but what you build too. Moving on to some AI news, two quick things. First, if you are interested in open source large language models and generative AI, Gwen Davis has an excellent post on the GitHub blog diving into all the details from a developer's perspective of how to use and build things using open source LLMs. I've got that linked down below, really great post. And I also wanted to give a shout out uh, to anybody who's interested in trying out Dolly 3, which is OpenAI's latest generative art tool. You can actually do it using Bing. Yes, Bing. So you go to bing.com slash create, and that's going to give you access to a, a new you know, generative art feature powered by Dolly 3. And I have to say, you guys, I was really blown away by the improvement in quality from Dolly 2, which was already incredible, to Dolly 3. So this is what I got using this prompt. Woman with long, dark hair sits on a bunch of retro gaming gadgets, Vaporwave. Check this out. It kind of looks like me, right? Right? Like, look, I think that with the right fit, I could pull that off. Um, but this is this is incredible. Um, you've, I've got links down below if you want to check it out. There's going to be more stuff about this, I'm sure, in the coming weeks from OpenAI. But if you want to play with Dolly 3 now, go to Bing. Yes, Bing. And now it's time for my pick of the week. OK, so LEGO is releasing Animal Crossing LEGOs. I don't know when. I don't know like how much they're going to cost. I just know that they posted about it on Instagram, and there's a teaser on their website, and that I'm going to buy them because I've been playing some version of Animal Crossing since I was like 15. And I feel really old, but I love it. So anyway, keep an eye out on turn up prices. Um, I, I know I'm going to be, but I'm definitely going to be checking this out, hopefully in 2024. Um, Animal Crossing Legos. That's my pick of the week. I, that's it. That's going to do it for me. Let me know what Nintendo game you want to see Lego make um, for their next you know, set or comment on any of our other stories. And if you like this episode, give it a like. It helps the algorithm. And subscribe to GitHub's YouTube channel for all your nerd needs. See you next time. And Matt, thanks for everything. <laughs>